How much new snow did we get? A lot. All these branches didn't used to be like this. That's what we're doing the trimming for. Let me pull up here and I'll stand on the track. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Snowed what? At least six to eight inches? I'd say over a foot. Over a foot? Wow. The dogs are loving it. Beautiful winter, fresh snow. I'm guessing about a foot. And here comes Quinn coming into Clifton Basin with the dogs. Woohoo! The side by side coming up through here, raking bottom and then pushing snow until it couldn't go anymore. And he reserved that. That's the snow he was pushing. This is all these guys do is just bite each other. Good girl, Birdie. Here I am at the top of the moguls. It is currently right up to the top of my inseam. Here comes Quinn. All this fresh snow, it's amazing. There we go. Opened up Dan's hole. Woo! Bit of a side hill here. And it just wanted to keep going down. So uh, I'm stuck going forward, which means I'm stuck going backward because it's uphill. So I got to dig this out or see if I can winch up to one of these trees. So here we go. All right, we got quite the recovery here. A little tough to tell, but right below the snowmobile is a lip. So he was coming up, wheelied it, and landed right there. And when he was down there, he was trying to brake on him, so it pretty much drops off a good 50 feet down there. Is that it? Okay, they should have enough now. How much more do you need? Can you get to the far side or no? Got it up on its feet now, we're just wenching it right up. I didn't, I, when I looked up, I couldn't see that rail. Yeah. This flat line thing. Oh, geez. but it's still fun. I'm glad you didn't get hurt. Oh, yeah. No. Here's Quinn coming back from the cornice, dropping down into the ravine.
Looks like the dog's got a little bit, uh... <laughs> Come here, Maverick. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on, man. He can't even see. Okay, that's the end of our video. We went up in the mountains. We saw lots of fresh snow and lots, of, lots of, lots of fresh snow. We had a snowmobile rescue, one of our friends from the town there. And <laughs> it could have been bad. Yeah. It was close to being really bad. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see in the video, but pretty much this place we're at, it's called Heck Hole. Imagine that, right? Uh, it's like a climb that gets pretty straight up and then there's a bit of a lip that you couldn't see today because of the light and he hit it and just popped a wheelie and then his snowmobile he got bucked off somehow yeah it like flipped on its side and you saw it was right on the edge of rolling back down off the mountain and also when he went kind of hiking back up or trying to tip it back over he heard it i don't know if you he told you this but he heard it kind of wump or like oh, he heard he it heard move sound in the snow yeah so it was pretty scary but we had two toe straps out got the winch out and there wasn't much to spare actually it was like the last <laughs> cord on the winch and got the sled back up pulled him up and they were actually running late but my dad decided to take him down a heck hole. <laughs> we got Jade to come on the trip. I don't think, well, we've been out once this year, but this was the first time on tracks for Jade and I in the R-Max. Overall, our experience with the R-Max, what do you say, Jade? Great, it was warm. It was warm, it was, uh, it was comfy, the seats are great. It's a little loud, but we have those intercom things that help. It doesn't go on the snow as well as the four-wheeler you'll see in the videos, but it does good. Yeah, it's a bit of a cruiser date. Date. It's like your date. Suburban compared it's to a sports car. Yeah, it's a good way to put it.